no sense. I'm on the wind, says so you don't gotcha who on beef. Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies. I put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG. Yeah. Warning. The following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in Salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. First and foremost, I do want to say happy Mother's Day to all my mothers out there. Yay! A lot of you guys know I'm a mama's boy. Yeah, feel me? So I love my mothers. Uh, especially my single mothers out there. If your husband is not taking care of you, let me know. I'll pick you up in Guadalupe and we'll give yourself a good Mother's Day today. You feel me? Aside from that, I did do my giveaway, the $500 giveaway. My Here, we're protecting the screen and the Tesla. You ain't gonna see nothing. All right, ready, ready? Keep going. Okay, okay, okay. And stop. Okay, I'm a uh, Corelli Rangel. Let's see. Winner, winner. Zoning. I always fulfill my giveaways. I always tell you guys. I usually do giveaways once a month. But you guys know that mine are legit, legit. But let's go ahead and get started with this week's Freak of the Week. And it goes to... Poncho blew me a kiss. I know he wants me. I really want to kiss you. God, I sound dumb. I really want to kiss you so bad. You were like so far away. Like you were all the way there. I was in the corner. Zubink. Now, did you guys see Jenny69 started circulating on the TikTok for dancing these, you know, these songs. Yeah, feel me doing the movimiento. And in this video, there's a security behind her. And then some people were calling her out saying that she needs to be humbled, etc., etc. Mike. Now, at first glance, if I was at this club and I seen this security, y'all feel me? Uh, first and foremost, no disrespect, they didn't, they wouldn't even, he didn't even look like a security. He just looked like he was there at the club attending it. But if I was there and I see him, you know, kind of just, you know, following her, I'd be like, God damn, this brother starved. Somebody feed the brother. Y'all feel me? Feed him. But aside from that, another young lady actually called out Jenny69 and had this to say. My okay, so I think this is funny that I'm seeing this video here. Um, the comments, especially, they're like, oh, she needs to humble herself. And I 100% agree. I have seen and met Jenny69 one time, probably like two years ago at a club. And she was very rude. Her security guards were very rude. Her friends were like stuck up and, oh, no, don't touch her. Oh, no, she doesn't. Don't talk to her. She didn't want, they didn't want no one to talk to her. They didn't want no one around her. The security guard, I was like trying to get a picture with her and she was like, no, no, she's not going to take any pictures. Like, she straight out was like acting like a freaking whole ass celebrity. Um, I really liked her actually before I met her until this happened. And I was just like, you know what, girl? No, you definitely need to humble yourself. Like, that's that just does not sit right with me. And I have a whole ass. Now, basically, this young lady said that she came to her club or whatever. She helped her out. She was acting like she was famous. Now, one thing I will say is if she has security or she doesn't have security, if she could afford it, she could afford it. And aside from that, she's in so much controversy. If I was Jenny69 too, I would give myself some security too. And she had to have been a celebrity enough because you were asking for a picture. Yeah, feel me? <laughs> But aside from that, basically this young lady said that she wasn't humble when she met her, her attitude wasn't there, that she wasn't being generous, that she wasn't even, that she was ignoring her, she had the security talk to this young lady. But what do you guys think of Jenny69? Make sure to comment down below. And the next thing that I'm actually gonna touch on, this is gonna be the last time I actually talk about this a little TikTok drama boo-boo. Like at this point, it's really bothering me and you, it's gonna make a little bit more sense in the video as to why. Now, Julie had posted this video, uh, and I'm not gonna really summarize this video, just get a few more drama into it and, and it has no point. But Pika de Gallo, uh, actually uh, commented down below do i need to make a part two it doesn't really make sense to me and then she's posts on her spam this Mike. to me 
how these people really contradict themselves so much. First and foremost, you're calling out Julie for deleting comments when you were deleting comments, okay? In your video, you said, I just don't want to do drama no more. Like, I'm just done. I'm done so with it. And, and then you just basically make another video saying, no, 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 no. I think I'm going to have to make a part two. <laughs> Aside from that, somebody else really instigating this whole situation and adding more fuel to it. This TikToker, <laughs> yeah, feel me. I think he, it's because he got a shout out on Pyaka's channel. He got a little bit, he got a little excited or something. He, and then he turned into like a fan page. It's funny, as soon as I made my video, it's like everything started to come out. TikTok is in my streets. You know, me, you know, me. You know this is my streets. YouTube. Georgie hasn't even seen the real Panchita Familia. Initially, this young man had a couple of good things to say. You know what I'm saying? A good cheese meta report. But then it started feeling more like he had like this vendetta, this hatred, like... Like he was out to get these people. Now he was way too invested into this TikTok boo boo. And for all the little chi up reigns on his TikTok, oh, you just want TikTok followers? You know, Maddie's taking your salary. <laughs> Shut up! I don't want that boo boo. <laughs> I don't want that boo boo. I don't need, I rarely even post on TikTok. Now, the first thing that I'm actually gonna call him out for called out Emily for allegedly doing something, and it wasn't even her. My hey guys, wanna know why I say don't trust all drama channels? It's because most of them don't do their own research. Y'all know the T account person. Well, the receipts he had on Emily was a fake account. Has obsessed for no reason with no real T. <gasps> it's a fake account. Are you dumb? Zoming. And you're over here. <laughs> but this is coming from the do your research. <laughs> the second thing that really stood out to me is that you called out Emily for her private relationships. For one, first and foremost, that's none of your business who she gets the more, more. From yeah, I feel me. That's none of your concern. About our sex life at the time after a breakup, and obviously. Yeah, cause you're sleeping with the. Yeah, cause you're sleeping with the. Yeah, cause you're sleeping with the. Ven y tú por qué te metes en lo que no te importa. How is it that you know who Emily was with unless you were there? Okay, unless you were there, unless Pika the guy who told you, or unless you think you know who it is but you really don't. Those are the three options. And I, and I doubt Emiliana told you because it, by the looks of it, te la estás tragando. And the next thing, he then calls out Emily once again because he, she posted this clip and deleted it real quick, which was Julie with this other TikToker, which it doesn't really matter because to my knowledge, they're already making TikToks together, so people already knew that they're together. And then you were preaching this whole thing about bullying, about bullying this, bullying that. In your Discord, you're telling people this. Oh my God, I'm going to report on it, but I don't promote bullying. That's what you do. You know, when you made all those videos jumping on Pega. How about you guys just don't do dumb things? things as an influencer and i don't even have to talk about you i don't know why you guys need to hear me say it if that's what you need to hear yeah i was on Pekka's side in this situation tranquilizate <laughs> tranquilizate Zooming. and you made this tiktok i uh, trying to clear it up that we actually deleted as soon as it happened we don't see it right then and there. no we infiltrated your whole clan you yeah, feel me and i'm just letting you know it's been infiltrated i don't know why you keep posting that and we got all those screenshots yeah like the day of yeah feel me so all of that stuff was still there so no you didn't delete none of that yeah feel me now at this point i kind of felt like it was harassing and i kind of called him out on tiktok And the difference between him and me, ya feel me, is I never have nothing out against them. It's not like I'm threatening them like, oh yeah, oh yeah, ready? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna post this. I'm gonna post this right now, right now. Keep talking and I'm gonna post. That's literally how it was. Like, it was kind of scary. Look at Teresa. That's the difference. And the difference is I can have Bo in my DMs one day. Us always in general does something. I'm gonna report it. No favorites here, baby. That's the difference between me and Georgie. So please don't compare me to Georgie. And then you make these apologies real quick, like trying to clear up your name. It's funny how you can make these apologies real quick but when these young ladies make these apologies oh well, that's not good enough so stop taking things too personal report the damn cheese man as it is stop doing it to be out to get them yeah feel me we get it you want a trophy from piaka <laughs> And for the world news, the Chinese uh, rocket ship that I was actually launched was launched right back into the atmosphere, back into actually the ocean. Because remember, there was a probability they could have landed anywhere. It actually didn't. It landed in the Indian Ocean. My 
something so you got saved because it could have been landing in your hometown and you guys wouldn't have you have known two like about like two three hours beforehand so imagine trying to drive away and you didn't even have a car available trying to get an uber you would have been sorry about that but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure to subscribe to this channel remember we're not here to pick sides i always tell you this is like a secretic seminar I, I give you guys a topic you guys comment that's the way it is that's just the way it is but aside from that follow my instagram and i really do appreciate you guys and remember if your hubby ain't taking you out on mother's day you, you know where to find me so i really do appreciate you guys Uber Buenas Santis. tardes, a nombre de Marcelo, excelente, mi nombre es Juan José y voy a ser su conductor el día de hoy. ¿Gusta que sigamos la ruta o tiene alguna en específico usted? Excelente. ¿Quiere un vaso de agua? Bajo el vidrio, prendo el aire, pongo su música. ¿No? Excelente. Re ¿Retiro, recargo, factura? Perfecto. ¿Por 10 pesos más gusta agrandar su combo Uber para llevarse papas y refrescos grandes? No, excelente, iniciamos el viaje. Uber Buenas tardes, a nombre de Irene. Tu mamá tiene pene, no mames, señorita. Está bien pinche lejos, le pedí de favor que me cancelara el viaje. Luego me penaliza, no mames, a la próxima pido un pinche viva aerobús en vez de un Uber.